the artists such as black South African uh, art pioneer Gheratsukoto, landscape artist Jacobus Hendrik uh, Pernif and abstract painter Walter Botis. The That's the largest art gallery in Southern Africa, the Johannesburg Art Gallery, which boasts the largest art collection on the continent. JAG has since been temporarily closed due to extensive weather damage to the gallery's infrastructure, with reports suggesting that the building has been slowly slipping into despair since the roof began to perish. That was back in 1989. It also reported that thieves have also stolen copper sheeting from the structure, further weakening the building's standing, while chief curator at the uh, Johannesburg Art Gallery, Antoinette Murdoch, has also res uh, resigned, citing lack of funds from the city of Johannesburg. Now, to shed more light on the closure of JAG, we're joined by the member of the Mayoral Committee for Community Development in the city of Johannesburg, Councillor uh, Nontlantla Sifumba. Ma'am, good morning. Welcome to Morning Love. Thank you very much. How are you doing? Good, thanks yourself. Good, thank you. All right, let's talk about the first time you were alerted to the issue at JAG. When mm -hmm. was that? What was the situation at that time? Um, I was first alerted on the 1st of um, Feb, mm -hmm. yes, on the 1st of February, um, about the, the, the water damage that has occurred um, within JAG. And uh, my first reaction was, you know, to close down the facility you know, for the safety of, firstly, the staff members as well as the patrons. Oh, what did you find? I believe, you, have you gone to, the, to inspect the place? What did you find when you got there? Definitely. Um, it, it was quite um, an extensive damage um, to, to the roof in particular, where the copper has been stolen over the years. How do you then deal with an issue like that? Because JAG is in, you know, in the middle of the Johannesburg CBD. The, you know, there's always been complaints about, you know, security around there as well. Mm -hmm. How do you, as the MMC, deal with something like that? It's, it's quite a difficult task. It's, it's not an easy one. And at that, as, as the new government, we can't be doing it alone. Mm -hmm. However, what we, we are prepared to do is to ensure that there's security provided within the facility. I mean, we house one of the best at works in the world. So we're going to be ensuring that the security is uh, is there as well as you know ensuring that we we do our best in restoring jag to its former glory okay what have you found out what is the reason the roof has come to what it is right now well apart from you know a place uh, or the institution being neglected over the years it's it's also due to the heavy rains that occurred on the 31st of january this year so it it caved in so to speak now your quote is saying that the money that was supposed to be used for the 2015 centenary celebrations for mm -hmm. jag were not you know allocated to uh, Jack, tell us a little bit about that. Well, in short, um, what we found out was that the money that was allocated was not exactly used for what it, what it was intended to, use, to, to be used for. So, in short, there was some form of corruption that was involved because when you look at the base, if that money was used accordingly, we wouldn't be sitting here and talking about uh, Jack being closed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are, are you investigating the matter now? What's what's the going matter on? The matter is being investigated, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously, if we find that there's you know any foul play anyway, then you know punitive measures will be applied. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk to us about. Uh, the issue of Antoinette Murdoch as well. We believe she's resigned. You know, she wrote an open letter regarding resignation because of a lack of funds. What do you know from your office? Um, as a new office, uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Yeah. However, I, I read the open letter, you know, as a person who's concerned about JAG and it's under my portfolio. And it is unfortunate that, you know, whatever she described happened. However, going forward, we, we, are, we will be doing everything in, to, in our power to ensure that stuff like that does not happen. As a result, uh, we do have some CAPEX budget uh, that is um, aligned for ensuring that uh, JEG is, is restored. Mm. Mm. Having said that, just, just to um, add on that, not only that amount is not enough yeah. to actually you know, <laughs> fix each and every detail that uh, one needs to fit within JAG. Hence, we have been going around, you know, calling on corporate South Africa to actually assist. This is our most precious gem in, in, in Johannesburg. So I've been calling on um, corporate South Africa to actually assist us, you know. Having three million in, as, as a budget is not enough yeah. when you look at the extent of damage that has occurred, you know, during the years within JAG. So we really, really uh, need help from the stakeholders and anyone who's interested in, in ensuring that JAG is restored. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about money. Have you been able to assist how much of the damage is there? You spoke about how three million is not even enough, but have you been able to establish 
How much? <sighs> We're still in, in the process of doing that mm. because um, the quality surveyors are, are on site and other architects and specialists in heritage site uh, restoration. So everyone is there and we're trying to ascertain how much exactly, you know, we will need for this. But in the meantime, we've, we've promised um, the patrons that will be opening the, the gallery around May or June. Mm -hmm. So we're pushing for that as well. So it's, it's quite a, a daunting task. What are some of the biggest issues as well facing JAG at the moment from somebody who's new in the office? This is what you find, you know, it's temporary closure. But what are some of the other biggest challenges? I think mainly it, it, it has to do with the structure itself. You know, if you don't have a, a good structure to house one of the most precious, you know, artworks in the world, uh, then you have a challenge in your hands. Other than that, we have very good staff um, complement, people who are there, who are passionate about what they're doing, who are proud of what they're doing. So other than that, I think in terms of security, it, it's there. Mm. It's just a matter of enhancing it, you know, even in, in further. One other thing that is, is also a, a plus is the fact that JMPD is always around the area and, you know, it, it serves as some form of you know, security for, for the facility as well. All right, MMC, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank uh, you for having Clarity me. on the issue of uh, temporary closure at JAG, the Johannesburg Art Gallery. She's the member of the mayoral committee for community development in the city of Johannesburg, Councillor uh, Nontatla Sifumba, shedding light on the state of the largest art gallery in the southern Africa. Jag, which has temporarily been closed after persistent rain, uh, wreaked havoc and is there to extensive water damage to the gallery's infrastructure. All right, let's take a quick ad break. We'll give you sports news after this. Stay with us.